Well, we welcome you to yes, yes, yes. Everlasting Life Christian Center. Yes, indeed. Yes, welcome indeed. to our Bible study, miracle and healing service. Glory to God. Yeah. Glory to God. Today yes. we will be teaching, we will continue our teaching, faith, the currency of the kingdom. Yes. Faith, the currency of the kingdom. Part three. Uh, today we'll be sharing part three. I truly believe you will be blessed. Amen. You will see faith in a different dimension. You will see the different dimension mm -hmm. that you've ever seen it before. Yeah. And I know you'll be blessed. Okay. And you begin to possess the possessions, Indeed. all the promises of God you begin to come to pass. Yes. Yes. Instantly. Mm. Instantly. Mm. We'll talk about that today. So let us also we want to greet and congratulate and celebrate graduates of 2023. Woo! Yeah, we yeah, want to yeah, greet yeah, you yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Graduate of 2023. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Josiah invited us yesterday. We were in our county to celebrate him and congratulate him. Yeah. It was very good. Awesome. I believe we have about four graduates this year. Uh, we have about four graduates. And uh, Josiah Shade, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the first one, right? two more person, Josiah Shade, Sister Sharon's daughter. Yes. Sister Sharon's daughter. And uh, one more person. I think about four people we have. We are going to be recognizing them very soon. God's willing, this Sunday. We'll be recognizing them, all the graduates of 2023, and celebrating them. Also, Sister Felicia's son, I believe. Somebody said to me. Yeah, Felicia's son also graduated. He is going to the high school. Yes. Uh, the other three are going to the university. Mm -hmm. Also. So, yes. congratulations to all the graduates Amen. of 2023. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah, glory to God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen, well, let's get started. Glory to God, let's get started. I will continue the teaching on faith, the currency of the kingdom. The currency of the kingdom. Let's go to Hebrews 11.1. 1. Hebrews 11.1. 1. We want to dissect Amen. this verse, Hebrews 11.1. 1. So Heavenly Father, we thank you, we bless you, and we exalt your holy name. King of kings and Lord of lords. We thank you, we bless you for all that you've done for us. We thank you that all that you, for all that you are doing for us. We give you praise and glory and honor yeah. for who you are, what you are doing and what you will do. But as we begin to explore this message of faith, mm. the currency of the kingdom of God, I pray for understanding, I pray for revelation, I pray that the mystery of the gospel will be unlocked unto me to share with boldness to the saints in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for edification that the saints will understand and the saints will receive the word of faith. Begin to see faith in a different dimension and begin to apply it in their lives so that all the promises of God to begin to manifest in their life. 
in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. 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 Glory to God. Now let's go to Hebrews 11, 1. In the past, I have given you a lot of definition for faith. But today, I won't want to explore it more. Dissect it. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 11, 1. Say now. Mm -hmm. Now. Right now. Faith is. Mm -hmm. Now. Faith is the substance of the things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Faith, now faith. Please. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. The word faith comes from the Greek word pistis. I will spell that for you. It's a P I S T I S. Pistis. P I S T I S. Which means credence. It means moral conviction of religious truth or truthfulness of God or a religious teacher, especially, especially reliance upon Christ for salvation, for assurance, for belief, for faith, and fidelity. I'm going to repeat that. The word faith come from the Greek word pistis, which is P-I-S, T R S, which means credence. It means moral conviction or religious truth or the truthfulness of God or a religious teacher, especially reliance upon Christ for salvation, assurance, belief, faith, and Fidelity. Mm -hmm. Pistis come from the root word pioto, which means to persuade. Mm. It means to persuade mm. and to have confidence. Can we discuss that again? Can I say that again? Of course. Pistis comes from the root word pioto, that P E I. T H O P E I T H O, which means persuade and to have confidence, to have confidence. So when we move in the supernatural realm, there is no natural, tangible evidence. We operate by internal spiritual discernment mm -hmm. rather than physical proof or intellectual understanding. Mm -hmm. So faith, we don't have, it, it, it's not tangible. It's not, there's a, not an evidence that we operate, but we move by internal spiritual discernment mm -hmm. rather than physical proof. We don't have physical proof, but we have spiritual discernment that what God has promised, it is so. And this is very important when we move by faith, God's reputation and integrity are on every word that he has spoken. When God speaks a word, mm -hmm. his reputation, his integrity not all, not all. are on the word that God has spoken. In other words, God is responsible to bring it to pass. Mm. Blessed is the name of Jesus. Mm. It's not us to bring it to pass. That's right. It is God to bring it to pass. Why? Because when God speaks a word, 
his reputation, his integrity, are on the word he has spoken. Now, this means that when we place our faith in something that God has said, the responsibility to carry it out rests on God and not on us. <laughs> Amen? Mm -hmm. It rests on God and not on us. Now, let me, I will say that again. Let, let's go back again. When God, when God speak a word, God reputation and integrity are on every word he has spoken. Yes, sir. If God has given you, there's a prophetic word from God, mm -hmm. God reputation and integrity and on that word. That means God himself will bring the word to pass. He will bring the word to pass as long the word is coming from God. If it's coming from God, his reputation, his integrity are on the word that God has spoken. The Bible says that his word will not return to him void. His word will not return to him void. In other words, his word will accomplish of which he has been spoken. God will do all he has to do to bring it to pass because his reputation and integrity are on every word he has spoken. Hallelujah. So when we place, that's our faith. Oh God, I, oh God, I love this. So that when we place our faith in something that is said, mm -hmm. he is responsible yes, sir, yes, sir. to carry it out. <laughs> he is responsible wow. to carry it out. Wow. 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 It's on him. That is responsibility, not our responsibility. Don't try to bring the prophetic word to pass. That's right. It's not your responsibility. Not trying to help him. Uh -uh. <laughs> so when we place, that's why faith is so important. Mm -hmm. Everything that we do in the kingdom without faith has no value. That's true. It has no value. So what that means is that when we place our faith in something he has said, mm -hmm. The responsibility to carry it out rests on him. It rests on God and not on us. You remember the story with the man with the boot? <laughs> we were looking for the man with the boot. It's not our responsibility to look for the man with the boot. It's our responsibility to lay our faith, mm. to place our faith faith in what God has spoken and allow God to bring it to pass. Amen? Amen. Now, what we need to do when we place our faith on what God has spoken, mm -hmm. we should we should simply, simply be, Lord, say this, we are simply said say this, Lord, you said it. That's right. And I believe it. Uh -huh. And God will answer me. Oh. Oh. It shall be done. Mm -hmm. Amen. Period. Amen. Period. I will repeat this again. Our approach to God, when we place our faith on what God has spoken, mm -hmm. remember his integrity and reputation is on his word. God will make sure it bring it to pass. So what we need to say when we receive the word of God is to simply say, Lord, you said it. And I believe it. That's right. God will answer me. Amen. It shall be done. Amen. Amen. That's why God gave us faith. God gave us faith as an avenue 
from the unseen world mm -hmm. to the seen world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why he gave us faith. Now, let's go to Ecclesiastic. Ecclesiastic 3.11. Ecclesiastic talks about eternity. Eternity is not a long period of time. That's what we always think. Uh -huh. But eternity, uh, Ecclesiastic 3.11, give us a different look or a different understanding on the word eternity. Uh -huh. I'm going somewhere here. That means I'm talking about supernatural, the unseen realm. Ah. And that's why God gives us faith. He gives us faith so we can access the unseen realm mm -hmm. and bring the unseen realm to the seen realm. In other words, convert invisible from the unseen realm to the seen realm, to the visible. Wow. That's why he gave us faith. It is an avenue mm -hmm. from the unseen world to the seen world. Now, when we say supernatural, it's also mean, or the unseen, it means eternity. Eternity is not just a long period of time. Uh -huh. It's not just on an ending period of time. Ecclesiastic actually give us a different understanding, the meaning of eternity. We are going somewhere. I want you to stick with me. Oh, I'm going back I here. want you to stick with me. I want to bring some understanding here. Let's go to Ecclesiastics 3.11. I'm going to read Nick King James. Then we're going to skip to Amplify. Mm -hmm. He said, he has made everything beautiful in his time. That's right. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts. Mm. Eternity in their heart. In other words, God has put eternity in our heart. Except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to the end. But here, the Bible is saying that God put what? Eternity in our heart. I think our understanding is eternity is a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Like eternity is a time that never ends. But here, God is saying, the Bible is saying that God has put what? Eternity in our heart. What is that? What does that mean? Mm. Let's continue. Let's go to the same scripture, Ecclesiastes 3.11, Amplify. Okay. Okay. Ecclesiastes 3.11, the Amplified version. He said, he has made everything beautiful and appropriate in his time. He has also planted he has also planted eternity, a sense of divine purpose in the human's heart, a mysterious longing which nothing under the sun can satisfy yes, 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 yes. except God. Yet man cannot find out, comprehend, grasp what God has done is overall plan from the beginning to the hand. So what God is saying, the Bible is saying, everything in eternity is already finished. Ah, Jesus. Everything, please stay with me so we can, I, I can bring understanding here. What the Bible is saying here in Ecclesiastes is that everything in eternity mm. is already finished mm. and in a mature state. Everything on earth must declare before it brings it into being. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now look, 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 look at the last verse here. Ecclesiastes 3, 11, Amplified. It says, God has done his overall, overall plan mm. 
from the beginning to the end. So when God, I'm going somewhere, I'm going somewhere. Woo. From the beginning to the end, God has done everything. Mm. From the beginning yes. to the end. Uh -huh. He's talking about his divine purpose. He's talking about the supernatural end. He's talking about God's plan for our life. Yeah. He said that everything from the beginning to the end is done. God is not doing a new thing. Mm. <laughs> it's already done. You mean that eternity is already finished and is in, and in a mature state. Everything on her must what? Declare it to bring it into being, to bring it into the natural realm. So what, what, what do I mean by that? Let, let me go a little deeper here. When there's a prophetic word spoken, uh -huh. God give you prophetic word. In eternity, in the supernatural realm, it's already done. Mm -hmm. It's already complete. Uh -huh. It's already mature. Uh -huh. So what we need to do is to declare it and decree it to bring it in reality with our faith, mm -hmm. with our currency. Mm -hmm. Speak it into existence. Uh -huh. God is not just doing it. God has already done it is already completed in eternity. Uh -huh. It's already done. Why most of the time things is delayed is because we are still praying for what that's already been done. Oh. We are still asking, but God said, I have given it to you. God said, it belongs to you. It's already done in eternity. It's already done in the supernatural realm. Oh. All we need to do, hallelujah, use our faith, use our currency to convert it from the supernatural realm to the natural realm. This is what, as a reason I'm preaching this, I've been expressed something now. When I declare a thing, it happens right away. When I speak something, it happens right away or before the end of the day or next, the, 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 the following week, it's done. Do you know why? We are approaching the end time. Yes. And God is accelerating this process. This process is being accelerated mm -hmm. because there are some things that need to come to pass before Jesus returns. Whoa. Yeah, things are moving fast in the spiritual realm. I'm telling you, when you declare a thing, instant answer from God. Because we wasted so many times waiting on God while what God is waiting on us. I truly believe God is accelerating. Things are moving with the speed of God. Jesus is coming soon. We are approaching the end times. So there's an acceleration of this process. Hey. God wants us to declare a thing and call it forth and to be done instantly. Ah, God, God, what God has already spoken is already done yes, in sir. eternity. Yes, sir. All we need to do is to spend our currency. All we need to do is to use our faith to convert it from eternity to the natural realm. When we declare something by faith and receive it instantly, that's what is going on. That's the dispensation we are in. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, start doing these things. I'm talking about the promises of God over your lives. Wow. Because there's some things that need to come to pass before Jesus returns. My, 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 my. There's some things that need to be done before Jesus comes on earth. Come on, 
Glory to God. Jesus is coming soon. Yes, is. We are approaching the end time. There's no time to waste. I've noticed this. I declare it happens. Mm. I don't know. I'm declaring the promise will of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you know the will of God, you know the spoken word of God over your life. Speak it into existence. Dispense or circulate your faith. Use your faith to convert it from eternity. Jesus. It's already done. The Bible says everything <laughs> in heaven. Ecclesiastic, can we go back there? I'm trying not to rush. The Bible says everything has been done from the beginning to the end. Wow. Everything is done in eternity. Jesus. And he said, he has put eternity in our heart. Mm. We don't even know it. Woo. Let's go back there. Let's, let's go back there. We got to get this. But sometimes we're waiting, okay, maybe God is still processing it. Oh, maybe God is putting it together. No, if God said it, is it done? Ah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now let's go back. Let's go back here to Ecclesiastes 3.11. I will read for Amplify again. We're talking here about eternity, supernatural realm. He said he has made everything beautiful and appropriate in his time. He has also, see that, he has also planted eternity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's planted. <laughs> okay. When something planted, is planted, it's in there. It's in our heart. Ah, can't go nowhere. Eternity yeah. is in our ah. heart. He has planted eternity, a sense of divine purpose. Mm. It's in our heart, in the human's heart. Yes. A mysterious longing which nothing under the sun can satisfy, wow. except God. Yet, man cannot find out. Ooh. It's there, but we cannot find out. We cannot comprehend. We cannot grasp what God has done. His overall plan. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overall plan. He means all of his plan. From the beginning. Mm. From the beginning to the end. His overall plan has already been done. His overall plan in eternity has already been done for your life. When God speaks, when there's a revelation that comes to you, mm -hmm. God gives you a revelation, it's already done. It's left for you to use your faith. It's left for you use to currency. use your currency to convert it, to purchase <laughs> what has been done oh, in eternity. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Woo. It's already been done. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. It's already been done. Not on earth, but in eternity. It's already in our heart. We have to declare it. We have to speak it. We have to decree it. The Bible says uh, we shall declare a thing and it shall be established. Yes. Begin to declare all the promises of God over your life. I'm not talking about positive confession. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not talking about positive confession. Positive confession is good. I do that on Sunday. I mix it together. I, I, I will do positive confession. I pray and also I declare. Uh -huh. I declare the promise. Positive confession uh -huh. is different from faith. Uh -huh. We'll get there. We'll get there. Now, so the more, the more we declare what we need, the more we declare what the Lord has spoken over our life, mm -hmm. the less time we have to wait to receive from God. The more we declare uh -huh. what we need, the more we declare the promises of God over our life, the less time we have to wait to receive them. 
Most people are waiting. They are not declaring. If you are not declaring it, you will wait longer. That means you are not exchanging your currency for the divine promise of God to manifest mm -hmm. on hell. Mm -hmm. Are you still with me? Mm -hmm. So I will repeat this. The more we declare what we need, the less time we will have to wait yes. to receive them. In this way, the future becomes now. The future mm -hmm. become now. You don't need to wait for the future to go meet your promise or your promises in the future. But you bring your future into the now. Uh -huh. Are you with me? Uh -huh. You bring your future into the now. Yes, yes. If we continue with a traditional mind, I know that's how we do things. That's what we've been taught. I'm teaching you a different way, supernatural way, that things will be done instantly. Moving. Glory to God. <laughs> Where you move your faith from the future into the now. Your faith needs to be in the now, not in the future. Because now, Faith is. Hey. So we need to bring our faith. That's what I'm doing. I want you to bring your faith from the future and bring it away in the now. In the now. So we bring future to the now. Mm -hmm. Your future becomes now. Mm -hmm. You reposition your Whoa. faith from the future in the now, and the promise will be combated in the now. But if we continue with our traditional mindset, it will take so long. Mm. Some people will not receive the promise until Jesus returns. Mm -hmm. It will take so long. If we continue with our traditional mindset, yes. I want us to change from our traditional mindset. mindset. What is that? Our traditional mindset mm -hmm. is we hear the word, we process it, we reason it out, we analyze it. Then so we eventually believe it or perhaps act on it. Mm. That is a traditional mindset. Mm -hmm. When the word is spoken, we process it. Yes, sir. And I'm talking about Rema. I'm talking about Rema. I'm talking about revelation from God. I'm talking about what God wants to do for you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about all the promises of God. Mm -hmm. Traditional mindset teaches we hear the word, we process it. We reason about it. We analyze it. Uh -huh. Some people like to analyze. Oh, my, 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 my. We analyze it and eventually believe it. That is traditional mindset. But we need to come out mm -hmm. from this tradi traditional mindset. Uh -huh. When there's a revelation come from God. You don't need to process it. You don't need to reason it. You don't need to analyze it. My God. Just believe it and apply your faith. Are you with me? I, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so all the, it's been processed already. It's been it's processed. Been, it's, been it's coming already. from God. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's coming from all knowing. It's all knowing. He knows everything. See Ecclesiastes 3 11. He has already completed everything from the beginning yes. to the end. It's already done. It's already processed. The Bible says he declared 
the end from the beginning. Yes, so because the beginning and the end in eternity ah, is already done. Ah. The beginning and the end yes, is sir. together in eternity. Woo! Whoa! Are you with me? Oh my God. So we have to come out from that traditional mindset mm. when the prophetic word is spoken. Hey. I'm wrong with it. When I, the first thing I want to know, I want to get the confirmation to know it's coming from God. Mm. If I know it's coming from God, you don't need to process it. Mm -mm. You don't need to reason it out. You don't need to analyze it. Woo. You don't need to do all of that. It's already processed. Wow. It's already risen out. It's already analyzed. Hey. Just receive it, believe it, and move on it. Mm. We need to come out from that traditional mindset because this traditional mindset, you will not receive the promises of God. Yes, yes, With yes. this traditional mindset, it takes forever. Some people are still processing the prophetic word from God five years ago. <laughs> Some people are still reasoning. They want to reason it out. The prophetic word, the word of God, promises of God. Five years ago, some folks are still analyzing. Mm. They are still analyze, analyzing prophetic word. We don't analyze. We don't process. We don't reason prophetic word. Ah. When you begin to process it, Ooh. the enemy comes in Doubt comes. Ah. When you begin to reason it, doubt comes. Yes, when you begin to analyze it, doubt comes. Oh, Just believe it and begin to declare it. Yeah, begin to spend your yeah, currency. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes, help him. We have to come out from that. Yes. We have to break the chain on traditional mindset. Yes, sir. We hear the word. Then we process it. Then we reason it out. Mm. Then we analyze it. And eventually we believe it. Oh. Time is running out. Yes, sir. Oh, this process got to analyze. We don't need to analyze anymore. God, God is accelerating prophetic word as I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking based on revealed knowledge. Mm. Revealed knowledge. That's what the Spirit is saying. Time is going. Time is running out. Yes. Declare a thing and it shall come to pass. Ah, Hallelujah. 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 Well, so respond and receive your miracle now. Right now. Now. Begin to speak the promises of God. I just got you by the Spirit. We are in the now. We have to operate in the now. What is the spirit saying now? Mm. That's how you get an instant answer. What is the spirit saying right now? And I just got the word. God said, I should tell you right now, get a piece of paper. Get a pen. Mm. Begin to write down all the promises of God that have been spoken over your life. You won't complete this today. It might take you days. Write it down. One, two, three, four, five, yes. six, uh -huh. seven. Uh -huh. Write them down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then when you do, during your prayer time, I don't know if it's in the morning or at night, begin to declare it. Because in eternity, it's already done. Yes, sir. But there's no manifestation on earth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because you have not been using your faith to convert invisible to the visible realm. Right? Oh. Some of these pro promises is just hanging ah. in the eternity. God help him. It's please. just hanging right there. Holy Ghost. Did anybody get that? If you got it, say it's I got it. It's just hanging. Ah. Because there's no transaction in the supernatural realm. You're not using your currency. There has to be a transaction. How do you transact in eternity? You transact by your faith. Because it is faith that gives us access 
to the eternity. There's a lot of people, prophetic word is just hanging. It's just there. Because you are not using your currency to convert invisible to the visible. Ah. The unseen to the seen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Get a pen. Uh-huh. Write it down and begin to declare it. I'm not saying pray for it. No. I have a purpose. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm just saying, pray for it. No, I understood that. It's already done. It's done. The mouth of the Lord has I spoken. It. It's there. Ah. You are the one who need to initiate transaction. Oh, wow. Initiate transaction oh. and begin to speak by faith um. and begin to declare and begin to decree. And you will see things begin to happen. Oh, somebody shout out. I, I got it. Let me tell you what happened a few weeks ago. This was just a simple dream. I had a dream about a project with a man. I haven't met this man before, but I've spoken to him. I got up in that dream, I begin to declare. I told my wife, yes. I begin to declare it. I begin to declare it. Jehovah is my witness. Oh. That same day, I was in a conference call. <laughs> Zoom call yes, sir. with that same man. Yes. That same day. Not the next day. The same day. day. My God. I'm, I'm serious. She, she can confirm that. Yes. I woke up and said, whoa, God show me this with this guy. I've talked to him. He said, I see there's a project that is getting me involved with the project. Yes, sir. That's the mind of God. Yes, sir. It's already done in the spirit realm. Uh-huh. All I need to do is to transact. Yes. Oh. All I need to do, how do you transact? Oh, somebody. Oh. Remember we talked last week? Oh, how do you transact? I'm about to run around. How do you transact? Jesus. You speak the will of God. That's right. You speak the promises of God. Faith and action. By your faith. Ah. Remember last week we talked? Oh, I can't forget that. Already. When you declare. Yes, sir. You speak life and you activate possibility. What I was doing, I was speaking it. I was speaking it. I was activating possibility. I was using my currency. I was using my faith to mm. convert what is already done in eternity yes, to natural realm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Are you hearing me, somebody? Jabo Zabaya. So when you begin to do that, you will begin to experience instant answer from God. You begin to experience instant manifestation from God because it is the will of God. But some of us are still waiting. That means you position your faith in the future. It's oh, about it. time oh. you bring your faith from the future into it. the now. Right, because faith, now faith is. is. Oh. Now faith is. is. Now faith is. Yes, sir. Faith is not in the future. Some of us have placed our faith in the future. It's about time you bring your faith in the now. Hey. When you declare the word of God. When you declare the will of God for your life. Hallelujah. Now, can we go a little deeper, church? Come on, come on, come on. I'm ready. Now, we talked last week. How do you use your kingdom currency? You speak. Uh-huh. When you speak it, when you declare it, I'm not talking about talking about it. I'm talking about declaring what God has spoken. That's right. By faith. Because that transaction does not occur on earth. That transaction occurs where? In heaven. Because in eternity, your blessing is right there. Are you with me? Yeah. When we declare, please listen to this before I move forward. When we declare our mind, our spirit and our body mm-hmm. conform 
to what we are declaring. I will repeat. One, when we declare, we activate possibility. <laughs> you can't forget that. I got it. I got it. You can't forget that. Trust me. I got it. When you declare, you what? You activate possibility. But if you declare or speak, I can't. Ah. You activate impossibility. But when you declare, I can. Yes, sir. I can. Yes, sir. I can. I said, yes, sir. I can. Yes, sir. And I will. Yes, sir. What I'm doing, I'm declaring possibility. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so yes, because sir. my mind, uh -huh. my body, uh -huh. and my spirit Good. are listening yes. to my affirmation, we'll are listening <laughs> to what I am saying. <laughs> when I'm saying, speaking live, and I activate it, possibility, yes, my mind, my body, my spirit ah. will conform with my affirmation. Ah, ah. Then your mind will begin to say, you can. Yes, I can. Yes, sir. Your body that is weak begin to move. We can. Ah. And your spirit yes. is saying, uh -huh. we can. Ah. And then manifestation starts. Ah. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Now, I rebuild that spirit of doubt. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And when you begin to speak it, doubt has no room. Mm. Has no room. When you begin to speak, when you begin to declare, your body, I was just about to say, about to say your, to your spirit we respond to your affirmation. Mm. We conform, conform with your affirmation. Now, are we good? Can we move forward? No, I just got one question. So basically, if you hear it and you're not speaking it using your currency, your, your, your spirit and, 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 and your, um, your body is not in alignment <clears throat> with the word mm -hmm. because you're not opening your, opening your mouth to speak it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. once you start speaking and declaring it, everything must come in alignment yeah. to receive. Well, this is the process. Uh -huh. When you begin to speak it and mm -hmm. to speak it, uh -huh. the first thing that happens, not even your mind, your body, and your spirit, mm -hmm. the first thing that your mind happens, that, that you are transacting in eternity. Mm -hmm. The next after the transaction. Transacting <laughs> in eternity. Yeah, better go ahead. <laughs> you are declaring the will of no, I will show you something. You will carry today. Hey, yeah. man, oh. I, I will tell you that's why, you know, I, I'm in a power ministry, in a miracle ministry. I learn you speak something, you want manifestation uh, right uh, there. Uh, we learn this from Jesus. Hey. I will show you. I learn this from Jesus. Ah. Hey, God of heaven, learn this from Jesus, hey. the Son of the living God. Yes, I will sir. show you. Hopefully, I can get there today. Now, and I will get there today. Amen? Now, let's go back to Hebrews 11.1. 1. I haven't even touched that yet. We're going to go to Hebrews 11.1. 1. Please write it down. Before we get to Hebrews 11.1, 1, the realm of faith uh -huh. existed before time was created. Uh -huh. The realm of faith was created before time. No, the realm of faith existed before time was created. We have to get this. Say this after me. The realm of faith uh -huh. existed before time was created. The realm uh -huh. of faith existed yes, before time uh -huh. was created. Yes, sir. Remember, there's a teaching I, I taught a few months yes ago, actually. Uh -huh. Three dimension of the supernatural. Yes. Yeah. There are three. In other words, the dimension one is faith. 
faith gives us access to the supernatural. Mm -hmm. Faith operates in the supernatural. Two, anointing. Anointing is the second dimension of the supernatural. Three is glory. Yes. Are you with me? Yeah. So the realm of faith, say that, the realm of faith yes, sir. existed before time. Mm -hmm. The realm of faith existed before time. The realm of faith it is the eternity in the now. Eternity in the now. Come on, say that. Eternity in the now. In other words, supernatural in the now. What God has spoken in the now. I'll go over this again. The realm of faith existed before time was created. And it is eternity in the now. We will get there. Now, let's go to Hebrews 11.1. 1. Hebrew, Hebrews 11.1. 1. Our focus now is in, in, in Hebrews 11.1. 1. Yes. Now. Right. <laughs> now. Faith. Is now faith is in the now, faith is in the present, that's right, not in the future. That's right, that's what the Bible said. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, uh -huh. the evidence of things not seen. Uh -huh. Now, let, 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 let us go for what is faith. Now, that's right. What is faith? Right now. Now, the Bible said, "Now faith is." Yes. Now, faith is one of the reason why our promises are delayed is because our faith is in the future. Our faith is not in the now. Because faith is in the now, not in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's in the now. So faith, what is faith? Now. Right now. Man, we human beings, believers, we place in the future what God placed in the present. Jesus, say it again. <laughs> we place Whoa. in the future. Yes. Remember, we've been talking about this. If you are not praying the will of God, you have placed your faith in the future. Oh, we got to get this. God's people, we got to get it. When you get this, when you pray, things happen. Yes, sir, yes, sir. When you pray, miracles begin to happen. Let me give you a good example. A few Sundays ago, mm -hmm. after service, I finished, you know, I was talking about Shevon. Shevon was videoing, you know, come, video, and do what you do for God. As we finished service, I was going, I saw him, and I heard in the spirit. God said, pray for him. For promotion, elevation, and breakthrough. Honest. The moment I, I heard it, guess what I do? Call him I call him and pray for him because it's in the now. God already spoken it. Yes, sir. Oh, we don't need to pass it. Don't not keep I don't need to process out. it. Ah. I don't need to reason it out. I don't need to analyze it. All I need to do is to obey God. All I need to do, just do it. Just do it. Guess what happened? The moment I had that in the spirit, guess what I did? I thought I was going somewhere. Uh -huh. I was going somewhere. He was right a little bit in front of me. And I heard God say, pray for him. I said, hey, Shevon, come. Guess what I did? I prayed for him. And I prayed for him. And I made declaration. 
to what I have in the spirit. Uh, to what I have in eternity. So based on that, 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 that's it. That's your action right there. That's my faith. Yes, that's it right there. I declare it over you. Mm, you put faith into action. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> the moment God, God said that, that means there's something hanging in eternity yes, sir. for Shivon. Yes, sir. So what I did, I declare it over his life. Possibility. Guess what happened? The next day, yes, sir. on Monday, he gave the testimony in church. But let me tell you something. If Sunday, he was going to work on Sunday, it will happen that same day. Yes. <laughs> it will happen that same day. The next day, guess what happened? He talked about the camera, that expensive is it lens yeah. that was given to him by his boss. They have been thinking about it. He has been thinking about it. That means that thing has been in, the, in, in eternity for a while. Ah. The declaration was not being made. Mm. Ah, ah, ah. Are you with me? Are we getting this, church? God's people, are we getting this? It's already there. Woo! The boss said, I've been thinking about this. But no, Shevon didn't receive it. And there's no declaration. Nothing happened. Woo. Are you hearing me? Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Now, let's, let's go back, back again and do this. Hebrews 11. Perfect example, actually. Yes, Hebrews 11. One. Now, what is faith? Say now. What is faith? Now. What is faith? Now. That means we need to position our faith in the now. now. Our faith should not be placed in the future. Our faith should be in the now. now. In other words, how do you place your faith in the now? When you pray the will of God. Mm, that's how you place it in the now. Exactly. When you pray the will of God, when you hear in the spirit what God is saying to pray for, you do it then. That means your faith has been positioned in the now. You will begin to experience instant manifestation of what you have declared. As so, told. listen to this. Men, believers, we have placed in the future what God has placed in the present. Mm. We, believers, have placed in the future what God has placed in the now. We will get this. In the mind of the realm of God, the present and the future exist together. You didn't hear me. No, I didn't. You did not hear me, Joshua. <laughs> you did not hear me. <laughs> Let me start again. We, most of us believers, we have placed in the future what God placed in the present, in the now. Faith. Is in the now, but we place it in the future. Anytime you are praying without knowing the will of God, without praying the will of God, your faith is placed in the future. Faith is not meant to place in the future. Faith is meant to be in the present, to be in the now. In the realm of the spirit, in the mind of the realm of God, everything is in the now. That means the present and the future exist together. Are you with me? Yes. And faith is the currency with which we obtain uh -huh. the future in the now. The future in the now. How can you bring future in the now? Is by your currency, by your faith. Oh. Are you still with me, those yeah. people? Do I need to stop? We continue next week. No. Amen.
Let me repeat this again for those that are writing. In the mind of the realm of God, the present and the future exist together. Mm -hmm. In another word, there's no future in eternity. There's no future in the supernatural realm. In eternity, in the spiritual realm, everything is in the now. Everything is mature. There's no point A to point B. Everything is one place. No. Point A and point B are together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Present and future are together. Yes. In that realm, it's in the now. Mm -hmm. So that everything God said is already done there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over there, there's no process. Over here, there's process. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, God. I'm going to stop. I don't truly really believe that God wants things to be delayed. We are the one that caused the delay. We are the one that caused delay. God wants everything to do what? Manifest in the now. I'll give you a few examples. In Matthew 6, 10, he said, your kingdom Come, your will be done on her as it is in heaven. You know what that means? God wants us to bring heaven on earth. As it's done. As it's done. Whoa, as it's done. As it's done. Bring heaven to her. Can I say it one more time? <laughs> bring eternity in the now. He said, your kingdom come. come. Few years ago, I studied the word come. Just the word come in Greek is el kame. El kame. It means to command that thing over there to come over here now. Command it from over there to come over here. You are not going there to bring it here. Shaba mountain. Baby. You are commanding it to come here. To cast it to the sea. <laughs> Amen. Now, also, let me give you a few more, then we continue next week. Genesis 1 3. I'm laying some foundation here. Genesis 1 3. I don't think God wants things to be delayed. He wants us to pray, declare, and get answer immediately. One of the reasons things are not happening that way, one, we are not using our faith, the currency of heaven. Two, doubt. Look here, Genesis 1, 3. God said, let there be light. Then what happened? There was light. How many times did God speak? He spoke one. Let there be light. And there was? Light. light. I couldn't question him. <laughs> he said it once, yes, and there was light. Yes, sir. Yes. Let there be what? Light. And there was? Light. Say that again. Let there be what? Light. And there was? Light. He said it one time, and there was what? Light. I'm going somewhere with this. Go ahead, because I'm going with you. <laughs> Let there be light, and there was? Light. God spoke by faith. And time, time zone existed. Time zone was created. Let there be light. And there was light. Through faith, we enter into time zone. Through faith. Faith existed before time was created. Hello. Okay, I, I think I think I think this is a big boy and big girl <laughs> award here. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Let there be light. There was light. I just mentioned that time, faith existed before time was created. That's right. 
He said it. Without the spoken word, nothing happened. Oh God. Hey. Without God declaring, nothing happened. Ah, so all he had to do is even to do. though the idea was inside of him. Ah, even though the plan was inside of him. He's killing me. He's killing without me. God speaking, in, nothing happened. Woo! That's how God wants us to operate. Japatiye. Without him speaking it out, the idea was inside of God. The idea originated from God. Ah. It was in the belly of God. If God did not, if he didn't speak it, nothing will happen. Let there be light. Let there be financial breakthrough. Hey. And there will be. Are you hearing me? I hear you. Father, we thank you. So true faith, somebody said that. Oh, our faith is going to change. The way we see faith from now on is going to change. Hallelujah. Even God spoke it. He declared it and it happened. Oh, Jesus. Let there be light. And there was light. If God did not declare it, what do you think would happen? It would have been. I mean, darkness. Yeah. Nothing would change. There will be no time. There will be no time. The Ooh. earth will not exist. <laughs> Everything God created except human beings. Everything was spoken into existence. My God. Let there be light, there was light. So through faith, we enter into time zone of the kingdom in the now of God. Yes, yes, yes. In the now of God. That's why Jesus said, we will continue next week from here. That's why Jesus said in Matthew 4, 4, he said, but the answer and said to them, it is, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by what? By every word that proceeded for the mouth of God. Next week, we will take this to another level. Ah. Every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. Every, 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 all of it. From God, not from us. Yeah, I'm saying all of what that God proceeded. This is how God. Do I have time? Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> you have, can I take one minute, two minutes? Please. Every word, and I will start from next week here so that we can bring better understanding. I will start from next week so we can bring better understanding. You see, when Jesus manifested the supernatural, his faith works according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Thank Ooh. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When Jesus, by the time we finish this series, you guys will be operating in the supernatural realm in another level. It was those that haven't operated before we begin to operate. You will see how it works. When Jesus manifested in the supernatural realm, it works according to the leading of the Holy Spirit and the realm of God for that moment. Uh -huh. What do I mean by that? It means if God don't say it, I don't declare it. If I don't see it in the realm of the Spirit, if I don't hear it from the realm of the spirit, mm -hmm. I don't declare it. If I hear it, I declare it. I declare it. <laughs> if I see it, I, I declare it. My Lord Jesus Christ. If God is saying it, that's I, exactly what I, I will do. Uh -huh. The problem with some of us, oh, God is saying, A, he, we are speaking B. He, he preaching now. <laughs> he preaching now. Amen. I said he's preaching. And he's preaching. Amen. He's God preaching. The glory. God is preaching. The, the God be the glory. Are you hearing me? You will understand this. What you see, God said. Jesus said it. He said, What I hear uh -huh. that God is singing. That's exactly what I do. So, so can I, I don't do anything on my own. Come on and talk to me. So basically, it's the same thing that happened with me when I was in Dubai. I heard that the orange heart was there. That's what you declare. Ah! That's what you do. It was in my belly. That's if you don't hear it, yes. 
you don't say it. Ah! If you don't, God is not saying it. Yes. You don't do it. That's right. Then if you are saying it, yes. you position your faith yes. in the future. Yes, it, sir. But if you hear what God said yes. and you declare it, yes. that means your faith is in the now. Yes. And manifestation yes. is now. Hallelujah. I got because they thought I was crazy. I, I keep on going back in here for the I orange to hat. Stop. I need the orange I hat. I have to stop. That's how Jesus moved in the supernatural <laughs> realm. You know what? That means he is in the eternity. If he's in the eternity and I declare it on her, he must come to pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's in eternity, yes. what I need to do yes. is to use my currency uh, of the kingdom of heaven to purchase it, to transact. Ah. In the inter, in in um, the realm of the spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why Matthew four four. Yes. He but he answered and said, "It is written, Ma-ka-tona. man shall not live by bread alone, Ma-tukuta. but by every word Everything. that proceeds from the mouth of oh, God. God. If God is saying it, do it. If God is speaking it, do it. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Also, you will see." John 15, we will start from this next week. Oh, God, I'm excited Me too. for what is about to Me happen. Too. John 5, 19, he said, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees yes, the sir. father do. Uh, for whatever he does, the son also does in like manner. Hey. That's why Jesus Miracle ministry, supernatural ministry was 100%. Ah. Because what God is doing, that's what he's doing. He said, what I see God is doing, that's what I do. Well, what I hear God is saying, that's what I do. Ah. Jesus was in alignment with the will of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why he brings heaven on her. That's he it. brought eternity on her. Yes. Because he don't do anything on his own. He said, I cannot do it on my own. What I hear, my father, oh my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. doing that's what I do. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, saying that Messiah, we're going to continue Ooh. next week. Oh, my God. Ah. You hear it, you do it. Yes, sir. What is happening in the spirit. Yes, sir. That's why we pray all the time. Because we want to be in alignment yes. with eternity. Ooh. We want to see what God is saying. Yes, sir. We want to hear what God is saying. Yeah. When we hear it, we will do it. Yeah. If you're in alignment with the will of God, yes, all you need to do, place your faith. Go transact in the... In, in heaven, yeah. glory to God. He starts from heaven. Yes, Remember, sir. last week we talked about your faith come from God. When we got saved, God gave us a portion of faith. Uh-huh. He gave us what a portion of faith. We have to develop that faith. We call it God kind of faith. So glory to God. You use it. And, and we get it from God. Yes. We also transact, not here, yeah, yeah, but yeah. up there. Yes. But it manifests right here. That's right. I'm going to leave you right now. You I just feel the anointing of God. So, so you said something about building it up. Jack, you you gotta, build it up. You gotta build it up. Gotta build it up. Build it oh, up. Oh Jesus! You I'm, increase it. You increase it. Now. Oh, hallelujah! And uh, the more you use it, your currency going to yes, God. Yes. Hallelujah! It's the more you you become more confident. Oh, yes. Messiah! Yes. Glory to God! And the more you speak it, because God said it. You know what? You know what gives you confidence? Yes. And what give you assurance Manifestation. is because you see it in the eternity. Yes. Because God has spoken it. Uh-huh. The mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Yes, sir. You give me confidence. Yes, That's sir. my title. Today. Because God has spoken it. Uh-huh. I see it in the realm of the spirit. Yes. It's hanging over my head. Uh-huh. All I need to do is to place my faith on it. It to transact in eternity and convert impossible to no to in, in, invisible to visible, unseen to seen. Oh, may the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Blessed be the name to God. of the truth. Yeah, I'm going to stop God. right here. God bless you. Oh. We're going to continue next week. But before we go, oh God, I feel the anointing. Yes. I feel the anointing. Yes. I feel that the Lord will increase your faith. I pray that the anointing of God Amen. will increase upon your life. Yes, I declare in the name of Jesus that you will begin to transact in I heaven. Because you can't get any purchase. My you can't transact without faith in 
eternity. I pray God will teach you wisdom to use your faith in the name yes. of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mazo Gobuzaya. In the name of Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, Amen. Yes, We're yes. going to continue this. This series next week. Glory to God. Right now, we're going to take our time offering. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing, Whoa. amazing, amazing. Glory to God. Just simply amazing, my God. We give God praise. We give him yes, honor. Yes. And we give him glory for all that. That, that word, I don't know if it didn't stir you up, but it stirred me up. Glory Amen. to God. And what he didn't notice, but um, and I know Sunday's message is going to be, oh, as usual, people, you know, God really, 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 really speak. <laughs> At everlasting life, he speaks. Glory to God. Amen. So I know the message is going to be, uh, uh, what do you say, off the chain, off the hook, off some different things. <laughs> Glory to God. So, so, but I'm excited because I know that I know that I know that I know. And he didn't know this, but I'm just believing God that he just give us like a little bit of this one. <laughs> As a matter of fact, come on and talk to me, sir, because I pray. I'm not saying I will do it. I'm not saying I will do it. But I've been thinking about to preach this again on Sunday. Oh, anybody joining me? With oh, no, no, no. I'm faith? praying about it. God didn't say, if God said that, I will do it. Oh, God. Remember? God if God, God said, that's what I will do. God but I hear in the spirit, that's what I will do. Oh. If God said it, I will. To it. Amen. Amen. Let's go to option to give. Glory to God. Option Glory to, to God. give. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Glory to God. Amazing God. Amazing mm -hmm. God. Oh my God. This is one of the best times for me. It's a time to give back. You know? Amen. God is so good and he's always good. He's always orchestrating. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. He's always working, making a way. Hallelujah. He's always paving some things for us. He's taking some crooked places and he's making them straight. Glory to God. My God, he's taking some denial. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And turning it or turning it. Turning it around, a uh, uh, divine reversal. So where you were, were supposed to be denied, uh, but God said, no, that's my child. Mm -hmm. ah, hallelujah. Statistically, it's supposed to be this. Uh, but because she's mine, uh, and because he's mine, glory to God, I'm going to turn that no into a supernatural Hallelujah. Yes. Ah, glory to God. Glory to God. A divine yes. Amen. <laughs> glory to God. Hallelujah. I am excited. Like I said, this is one of the best times for me. <clears throat> the time to give back. The yes. time to give back. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Because he's worth it. Mm, Jesus. Yes. He is worth it. Glory to God. He is worth it. Glory to God. Amen, somebody. So I just want to encourage you right now. The ones that are the tithers. And we even thank God you spoke it on the broadcast and you got brought it to pass of course Amen. a double anointing for yes. for the for the tigers glory to god double. hallelujah Super. hallelujah Amen. my god uh, and, and 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 i just know that i know that i know that there's someone there's some people glory to god who are just uh, 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 um, um, beginning to walk my god because that's even a faith walk that's right that's even a faith walk because god said it I believe it. That's it. And God will do it. And God will do it. Glory to God. Amen. And glory to God. Amen, Amen somebody. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 it's just amazing in this season what God is doing. It's just amazing in this season. I just want to in, uh, encourage you. Tap into it. Tap into it. It's not just for a few. For him, myself, and a couple others. It is for all of us. Glory to God. My God, my God. He's a faith. Oh God, Amen. let's express my God, my God, my God, our love for him. Glory to God by giving. Let's express glory Amen. to God, Amen. our reverence to him to by giving. Glory Amen. to God. Let's express ah, Jesus, our honor to him. To I God. always call it an honor, my God, my God, when we can give back to him. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. So um, um, I just want to encourage you right now, um, 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 even the ones that have been so faithful, God Almighty, there's been so, so, some people that have been so faithful in their Amen. tithing, Amen. their giving, glory to, glory God. to God, hallelujah. There's no words that 
can describe. But what I can tell you though, hallelujah, my God, my God, he's faithful to the faithful. Amen. That's all I can say. Glory to God. Amen. And if you've been not been not being uh, uh, walking my faith in your tithing, your offering, not walking in obedience. Uh, it's not, it's never too late. It's never too late. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you also always say the return is greater than your seed. Your harvest, your harvest. is greater yes. than your seed. That's always. Ah. What you receive is more than what you give. Amen. You can't outgive God. Oh, stop it, sir. You cannot outgive <laughs> God. Yes, you are a giver, you are generous, but God is more generous. Yes. Ah. Amen. God gives you way more than you give. Mm. Your kindness is always greater ah. than your seed. Ah. So sometimes you put a little seed in the ground. Yes. When we come out, branches and fruits yes. will come out. Yes, 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 yes. Greater. yes. Amen. Yes. So let us give Amen. generously. Amen. Glory to God. It's an Amen. act of faith. So yes, it is. It's an act of faith. Yes, it is. Give glory to God. And you will see the hands of God. God. Yes, you, you will. will. Yes, you In will. Jesus. Name. My God, my God, my glory God. God. Hallelujah. As you were ministering earlier, mm -hmm. I heard in my spirit because this is the house where God dwells. Hallelujah. Hey, I heard it. I said, God, but it's something that God has given to us many years ago. Amen. This is the house. Where Amen. God dwells. Amen. Glory to Amen. God. So this is good soil. Oh, Amen. Rosaka. This Amen. is good soil, no Amen. doubt. No mistake. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the true and living God. Hallelujah. Oh, it, there's got to be a return. There must be a return. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God said it. Hallelujah. Amen. You believe it. Glory Amen. to God. Now act on it. Oh, Amen. Nine, 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 nine. Really God said it. That's don't process. Don't process. Don't, don't try to reason. So, oh, come on, God sir. has processed. Yes, sir. God has reasoned That's it. before he releases. That's it. It's already done. That's it. And it can ah, just move on. Just move. Yes. Move. Glory to God. Glory to God. There's somebody they have a business already. I like they want to do some some do some other things to with the with the, with the business or you know, to the business or through the business, but it's business related and they, they, they maybe expansion or what they want to do something maybe go somewhere or do something to the business and God said you're not on this program by accident. Mm. Oh, my, 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 my. Come on, I prophesy. Didn't, I didn't cause you to be here prophesy. by accident mm. because He said I need you now, my God, my God, to use that currency. Oh, hallelujah. Use your currency. And he says, I've been putting it in your spirit. My God, my God. Even my, 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 my to tithe at this church. Oh! Amen. Amen. I've been putting it in your spirit. Glory to God. To tithe here. I've been putting it in your spirit. Glory to God. Even to sow a seed. It's not, it's not too late. It's not too late. Glory to God. Glory to God, somebody. It's not too late. This is so powerful. Let, let me connect you with, with my teaching. Yes. What she just declared upon somebody, yes. that's what is in eternity. Mm. Don't try to reason. Don't try to process. Whoa. Don't try to analyze. Whoa. Just do, do it. it. You will receive an immediate result. Yes. An instant answer mm. from God. Because it's in the spirit. Yes, 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 yes. So your faith is to bring it the down. Yes, sir. God won't tell you to do something for nothing. Oh, Our God, God is a purposeful God. Yes. If there's no purpose, you will not release it. Yes. There's a reason. So when prophetic work comes like that, mm. it's time for you mm. to use your faith to activate it, to convert it, to purchase it from eternity to the natural realm. Ooh, Jesus. And there's a result yes. when you obey God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. willing and obedient. Yes, so you will eat the fat of the land. The fat of the land. Of the land. Mm, 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 mm. Then you obey the word of God. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Amen. Glory to God. Oh, you're Amen. gonna get me started again. So let me let me let me come on, professor. <laughs> let, let me give them yeah. the way when prophetic word comes, that's what God is saying. Yes, that's how God Jesus moved in the supernatural. Uh, he said in John 5 19. He said, what I hear, mm. my father is saying, that's what I do. That's what I do. 
what I see, that's what I do. Place your faith in the now, not in the future. That's right. Use your faith. It's only the day. Mm -hmm. Do it. That's why miracle. Jesus speak miracle. Oh, my kind of Jesus speak deliverance. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus yes, 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 speak yes, yes, supernatural yes, 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 yes. instantly mm -hmm. because that's the mind of God. That's yes. the blessing of God. Yes. Are you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Instant answer oh. to prayer. Jesus, sir. Jesus. Oh, let us give. I want to give generously. Yes, I want yes. to support yes. the ministry, yes. the last life Christian church. Yes. Great ministry, yes. worldwide ministry, yes. apostolic, prophetic. We are five four ministry. Come on, sir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Way to give, media. Yes, it is uh, through uh, the website. It's Everlasting Life. Mm -hmm. www.everlastinglife.org. www.everlastinglife.org. Click give, then you click donate. Hallelujah to cash app and we give different different ways to give because some people may have cash app and not sell or vice versa. Some people may want to give through the website. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So we give you different options. Glory to God. Another option, as I was saying, is cash app everlasting life CC. Mm -hmm. Another one is through um, 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 the, the, the finance department, which is 301-776-7770. Three zero one seven seven six seven 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 zero through PayPal and Zelle. It's finance at everlastinglife.org. Finance at everlastinglife.org. Glory to God. Glory to God. And through the good old mail, it's P.O. Box 1110, Laurel, Maryland, 20725. Again, P.O. Box. 11, 10, 11, 10 uh, Laurel, Maryland, 20725. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. My God, yes, right mm -hmm. there. Yes, it's on the screen. It's on the screen. So the chart, screen. cash app. Mm -hmm. We can give via cash app. We can give via PayPal. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ministry, this ministry is a fertile ground. Yes. Rich ground. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Glory to Amen. God. For the blessed offering. Yes, I'll go ahead and do that. Glory to God. Father, we honor you. We thank you for this time. We thank you, my God, even for this space right here. Amen. Oh, Korra Messiah. We thank you, God, my God, because, you know, the word declares that you are everywhere at all times. My God, my God. And we do not in any way, shape, or form take it lightly. Mm. Oh, yes. Rabbi. Yay. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. We ask that you will bless this offering there. Let tithe their seed. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. As it's for the furtherance of your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 I, Amen. I heard something, two things as we were praying. Um, somebody has a pain like in their shoulder, neck area. And God want to heal it. Amen. Oh, Rabba. Oh, Jesus. God want to heal that uh, for you today. Hallelujah. There's somebody else with a foot problem. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to discern what foot. Glory to God. Um, and God says, even today, I'm going to heal that leg, that foot problem, that issue. Hallelujah. 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 There's also somebody else that you've been, I don't know if it's a settlement from wherever. I don't know if it's an accident, incident, settlement from whatever. But God said it's just been hanging, 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 hanging. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Because the person says, well, like, is she? Could it be? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Glory to God. And it's been just hanging too, 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 too long. And God is about, he Hallelujah. wants to make that a bus tour. He wants to make it a testimony. Glory to God. So you're not watching this program program by incident or accident. I'm talking to somebody here. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Oh, hallelujah. Put your currency, oh, hallelujah, in action. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your currency mm -hmm. in action. Amen. Amen, amen. There's somebody else that there, there, there is a, 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 an increase at your workplace. It's just been, you know, they say something just been gnawing at you, like you know it, you feel it, you sense it, you, uh, you just, it, 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 you just, you just know. But God said, open your mouth. 
mm-hmm. and use your currency because faith knows. Mm-hmm. That's why it's been in your belly because faith knows. Amen. There's an increase for you. Mm-hmm. Right here, the person on the side is already hanging in the realm of the spirit. Yes. That's what God is saying. Be healed now. Hey! In Jesus' name. Whoa, Rabbi That's Sam. another person. Um, what's the second prophecy? Uh, the food, food problem. Food problem. Like, problem. Yes, yes. It is the will of God. Yes. Be healed now. Now, she's mighty. Name. Name. And that person that going to do miracle for yes. it is done in Jesus' name. So for declare it and decree it in the name of Jesus. And let it be done in the name. Of Jesus Christ. Yes. It is done. Yes. It is the will of God. Yes. And receive your instantaneous yes. healing yes. right now. Receive your instantaneous miracle right now. Yes, That's sir. what Jesus said. What I hear my father is saying. That's what I do. Mm. That's what we heard now. What God is saying. So let it be so yes. in Jesus' name. Come back next week. Yes. Friday to give testimony. It is done yeah. in the now. Amen. Yeah. Now. I'm working on another book right now called again, yes, called The Burden of Unforgiveness. The Burden of Unforgiveness. So I'm taking testimonies. I've taught this message before. If you have testimony from forgiveness, you had unforgiveness before. And after you forgive, you experience testimony what happened. I want to see you on Sunday to get your name. And then we want to hear your testimony. We're going to write it down. And I'm going to put your testimony in sack them in this book. It's going to be a powerful book. Awesome book. Amen. I've taught the message of unforgiveness, the consequences of unforgiveness. But the top, the, the title two will be the burden, the burden of unforgiveness. It's a burden if you don't forgive. It's a lot of hindrances, a blockage and stuff. Great book, great book. So if you have testimonies, when I taught it, if you forgive and something happened, please, I want to see you on Sunday. I'm collecting names of those that have testimony and we're going to write it down and I'm going to send it to the editor so they can have it in the book. You may don't worry, we won't put your full name. We just put probably your first name. You give us the okay to do that. Put your first name there and we give put your testimony. Amen. And some of my book, you can get it on Amazon. Amazon.com. We strengthen with all might. The strengthen with all might, the secret of peace, yes. and also one more power for living. Power for living, minister. If you can put that as well, the power for living. Also, we have one. I have uh, the fourth one is in the uh, uh, the publisher right now. They're working on it. It would be powerful. The power to overcome depression. Yes. The power to overcome depression is coming soon. And then we just started gathering and started working on the burden of unforgiveness. The burden on, of, on unforgiveness, amen? So if you have testimony, how you forgave someone and your life changed, miracle happened in your life. I know there are many people, please, I want to see Sunday. We're gonna get your name and I will assign somebody that will take your testimony and we can move forward with that. Amen. God bless you. We love you with the love of God. Let's come. It's going to be powerful yes. Sunday. Yes. It's going to be on. And also it's the first Sunday of the month. Hallelujah. First Sunday of the month is going to be on. There's going to be signs and wonder. Come and receive your miracle from God, if you are in the area, if you are in the metro area, you need to be in that house oh, no, this Sunday. Bring the seat. Yes. Bring the seat. I just gathered in the spirit. Healing anointing. 
bring the sick, there will be mighty healing, deliverances, and miracles. We're going to access the supernatural. We're going to access it. Glory to God. We're going to enter the supernatural and convert. Glory to God. Our miracle in the now. God bless you. We love you with the love of God. And we look forward to see you on Sunday. How do you receive? How do you possess? You can't get the job. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. No, it's about. Yes. If they're going for internet.